Andrew Wheeler, the head of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, has canceled his planned trip to Taiwan. His arrival was scheduled for next week, and he would have been the latest of several high-level American officials to visit Taiwan. Taiwan's foreign minister, who confirmed the cancellation on Wednesday, said the EPA did not provide a reason for the change of plans. But according to the U.S. media outlet Bloomberg, the trip was called off after public scrutiny on its high cost. The intelligence chief of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command has just concluded a low-key three-day visit, according to local sources. On Wednesday, as Taiwan looked ahead to the arrival of another U.S. official, news arrived that the planned trip was off. We have received notice from the United States that, due to changes in his schedule, the head of the U.S. EPA, Mr. Wheeler, will not be able to come to Taiwan before the end of the year. We, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, very much regret this. That is all the information we have been given. In the end, the head of the U.S. EPA has been unable to make his planned trip. We respect that, and we also feel that it's a pity. However, the cooperation between Taiwan and the United States on various issues, as well as the promotion of bilateral exchanges, will continue on both sides. Taiwan's government confirmed the news, but said little on the cause of the sudden cancellation. In a report by the U.S. media outlet Bloomberg, EPA spokesman James Hewitt said in an email that the trip was postponed due to pressing domestic priorities at home. Bloomberg also noted that the visit would have drawn anger from Beijing. According to the New York Times, the planned trip raised concerns about its high price tag, particularly at a time when Trump was in caretaker mode. In response to the New York Times report, the U.S. EPA said it would investigate how details on the trip were leaked to the press. It could have been canceled because of that media exposure. Because the U.S. is in a state of transition, the report may have fueled great speculation. We respect any decision they make. This is an internal affair of the United States. The cancellation of the trip, I believe, will not be an ending, but a beginning. In the U.S., there might be some views against this Taiwan trip taking place at a time when Trump is about to hand over power to Biden. For the government, the most important thing now is to prepare for the future of Taiwan-U.S. relations. Wheeler was originally scheduled to visit Taiwan for three days next week. His canceled trip could reflect changes in Washington as the White House prepares for a new administration.